Doing something a little bit different today. Doing something that you can do with your family or friends today. We're on a cargo bike. Yeah. A cargo bike is good for carrying people or goods. So you can drop off your kids to school or you can even pick up your parents from the pub. Epic. Getting super epic with the access of epic on the van off. There you go. You weigh clan about 70, 69, yeah. 70. So it's got a rate to carry 65 kilos on the back. So that means combined we're about 190 kilos. Um, but this is riding really well. I mean you can feel a bit, but it's very stable. Super smooth, there's plenty of power, plenty of grunt. Riding around on the Amigo. I reckon this could be called the Amigo Con Beneficiado, which means friends with benefits because it's so versatile. The motor on this is a 48 volt bar farm rear drive. So the higher voltage such as the 48 makes it better for getting up those extreme hills. It can handle the heavier workload. It has Tektro hydraulic brakes front and rear and an eight speed Shimano gear set. It also comes with front suspension, front rack and rear rack and a 720 watt hour battery which is going to get you a very good distance and the best part is you can do your weekly shop all there ready to roll the amigo has integrated front and rear lights but it's those 20 inch rims with the four inch tires that makes it very stable. You can ride on almost any surface from tram tracks to the beach to sand, snow, gravel, all that sort of stuff. It just makes it very stable and it's a go anywhere type cargo bike. If you think this sort of thing might be for you, then I strongly suggest that you come for a test ride. They're available around most states of the country, quite a few places in New South Wales, but in Melbourne, Victoria, Come to the Electric Bike Superstore, come and say good day, get on our track out the back and test ride the Amigo with benefits. So I guess it's just the versatility because you can carry people, but you can carry shopping, you can carry cargo. It just makes this a great all round. So the more I ride this, the more I like it. If it's a pretty serious bit of equipment, this could replace a car. Or if you're in a family or something, you replace one car. It really can do a lot of things for a lot of people. The thing about cargo bikes, sometimes they can be a bit unwieldy, hard to sort of park and get inside the shed and all that sort of stuff. But this being a short tail cargo bike means it's um, excellent in many ways. I guess the key to a good cargo bike is something that works really well as a cargo bike. But it's got to really work very well, even just as a bike when you're not hauling cargo. So I'm giving this two thumbs up and fully epic. Yeah, so while making this video, I'm also doing a range test. And I should mention, when range testing, I'm going for everything maxed out to the max. So what I'm chasing is the worst case scenario. A lot of websites and shops and things are very, very optimistic when it comes to range. Everyone can go and find their, their maximum. The question I want answered is what's the minimum? What's the minimum? Go flat backer, go hardcore, getting out, carrying people, carrying a week's worth of shopping. That's what we're going for when we're range testing. So 
there's something that's really I really like about this bike as a cargo bike is the torque sensor. So most rear drive bikes have a cadence sensor, but the torque sensor gives you a bit more, a bit more of a nuanced ride. So that means the harder you push, the more you get. What this means is that even if you're in a very high level of assist, and you've got a kid or a couple of kids on the back or something, it won't get away from you too quickly. So massive tick in the torque sensor. Now I should mention, as far as hill climbing, this is pretty good. the end if you want to see how far we get on this range test on the Vamos Amigo. Okay let's just have a look at what's up on the handlebars. So on the left you've got the display. You can see that little hang dangler down there. That's a USB thing if you want to top up your phone or whatever. Uh, there's uh, five levels of assist on this and there's a little uh, bump throttle there which can be handy for just getting yourself moving. You can see the hydraulic brakes there and your Shimano 8-speed shifter. This shifts really cleanly, very smooth. I'm very happy with this bike overall. It just works. I should mention that these handlebars are kind of a bit of, sort of like BMX handlebars. So it gives a very upright, very upright ride. And if you put them forward or back, you can cater for like uh, people with long arms or short arms. Really comfortable. Why don't you come and have a test ride on our track just out the back of the shop? It's fully epic. Coming to the end of the range test. So it's got a little bit left in it, but I think that um, yeah, it might be complicating it, but I'm going to head back to the superstore and um, reveal how far we got. You could get definitely, you could definitely get a lot further than what I've done on this. But quite frankly, I'm not going to ride around on low levels. That's not epic for me. Oh, just while we're here, look at all those cars. All just sitting there in traffic, really. Some of them could be on one of these. I think it would be more enjoyable for them. Anyway. Coming back to the superstore. This here at 1034 Dandenong Road, Carnegie. And we're back home at Melbourne Tome of Electric Bikes, the Electric Bike Superstore. Okay, the results of the range test is 43 Ks. 43 k's is decent for this type of bike. I'm sure you could get a bit further than that if you're a bit more conservative. I could see this maybe getting 60 k's or even more. But my way is hardcore all the time, 100% of the time, because that's more epic. So, the Vamos Amigo. So I guess the question is, should I buy this bike? Well, I would say if you've got three and a half, around three and a half thousand dollars to spend and you like the look of this type of thing, then I'd say yes. If you want to carry things, people or cargo or whatever, I'm saying also yes. It works really well. But mainly, if you just, if you think this is a cool bike, and I certainly do, then yes, it's just so practical. It's got the basket, or well, there's an option for this seat. Now these are available all around the country. There'll be a link um, to the Vamos website so you can see all the stockers. And certainly you can get them here at the Electric Bike Superstore. There'll also be a link here 
under this video. So, if you want to get on the Friends with Benefits and you want to be epic, come on down, give this a test drive. Now, don't forget to like and subscribe and all that sort of stuff. But with any bike, if you can't try it, don't buy it. You've got to see how it feels. You've got to see how the geometry works for you. By the way, this works for like a pretty tall person, six foot three or four. But we've actually had a couple of like five foot two people on it. And it works for them as well. So very versatile. So come on down to the Electric Bike Superstore, get on the Vamos, Amigo. Until next time, stay epic! On the Amigo, with benefits.